Welcome to Beer and Board Games, folks, and Merry Christmas. We're going to have a fun time tonight misunderstanding each other in a good way as we play Telestrations. Happy Holidays, guys! Merry Christmas, depending upon your chosen beliefs. Telestrations is basically the game Telephone that someone made into a game, and they're making money off of it, and more power to them. And right now, I would like to empower myself to drink a beer. Woo! All right, Matt, consider yourself empowered by Alaskan Amber. This looks like an adventure beer. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Oh, that's yummy. This tastes like a Christmas beer. It really does. I'm getting cherry flavors and I'm getting spices. The can says smooth, flavorful, and balanced, and they aren't fucking kidding around. This is good. It's an Amber Alt style ale. Huh. This is excellent, and it evokes feelings of winter and comfort and things like that. It's a Christmas miracle! The game of Telestrations goes like this. One person draws a card and they roll a six-sided die. On that card is a clue that they must draw. They show that drawing to one person and they write down what they think the drawing is. They show what they wrote to another person and they draw what is written down and that person shows their drawing to the fourth person who writes down what they think it is. It's the game telephone. But marketed and copywritten. Okay, Aaron and Tony, close your eyes. Okay, Sheila, here's the okay. drawing. Tony, open your eyes. Ah! Whoa! Okay, Aaron says boat. Sheila says boat. I'm afraid the correct answer was canoe. Oh! oh. Fucking cereal bowl on some spikes. It's canoe? It's going to be longer and thinner. And pointier. Okay, oh. Sheila. I rolled a one. Everyone close your eyes. No, okay. Number one. Yeah, Sheila, once you're done, show me your drawing. All right, Sheila, put down your drawing. I'm ready with my guess. Do it. I dare you. I don't know what's not clear about this. This seems pretty clear to me. My guess is sheepdog. Yes! All right. This game is too easy. Brad Pitt got eaten by a bear in Fight Club. True story. They had to finish the movie with a CGI Brad Pitt played by Meatloaf Ade. <laughs> Legends of the Fall. No. There is a good chance that Brad Pitt got eaten by a bear in Legends of the Fall. Brad Pitt was eaten by a bear in the movie Meet Joe Black Bear. <laughs> Aaron, you ready? Yes. Yeah, Matt's drawing. This is your drawing. Freddie, what right. do you got? Okay, Sheila's guessing Happy Pop-Tart. Matt, show the world your drawing. I was given the clue Pop-Tart. I was given the clue Pop-Tarts. You saw this and you thought to yourself, Pop-Tarts? Yeah. It was salt and pepper. It's not salt and pepper. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, this is going to be really hard. That's what she said. Yeah, but at least she was, like, ready for it. I'm not. That's what Joe Blackbear said. I also can't see shit right now, audience. I just want you to know I believe in the spirit of the game. Ready, Matt? Here you go. This is my focal distance, in case anybody was wondering. Okay. Blinded by the light. Wrapped up like a deuce, another roamer in the night. I hate that song. Yeah, this song sucks. It's not Manfred and Man's best. You want good Manfred Man, you come see the mighty Quinn. Oh, that's a good song. When Quinn the Eskimo gets here, everybody's gonna jump for joy. Yeah, because you've not seen nothing like him. You've not seen nothing like right. the mighty Quinn. That's what I'm saying. Everybody's building ships and boats. See, this right now is the best rendition of the mighty Quinn that I've heard. <laughs> Are we ready? Tony, you got to guess this. Ooh, that's... What I saw in Sheila's drawing was a fried egg. Flat as a pancake was the actual clue. <laughs> uh... 
show your what? drawing. Look, I'm pointing to where where it's flat, and the close-up would be a plant a pancake that's flat. <laughs> Sheila, are you doing your nails? I meant to do it before the show, but I ran out of time. <laughs> When you are a patron at, at patreon.com slash beer and board games, there's all kinds of cool rewards. You won't even believe your eyes. But the top tier level reward is occupied by the Supreme Leader, and that man's name is... Tom! 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 Thank you, Tom, and thank you, all of our Patreon patrons. Thanks, folks. Cheers! Anybody else hear anything? No. Oh. Oh. Must have been that. Hi, Cookie. How are you today? I'm excited! Why is that? Because I got a date with Blondie! Really? We gonna have a Goyle's night! Mm. Well, what's that? That's where we get together, we put on makeup, and we talk about boys, and we eat ice cream cake. Well, Cookie, that sounds very nice, but maybe it's not the best thing to do right now because of the pandemic situation. Blondie don't care about that. She lets me walk in the house without a mask or nothing. She picks me up in two arms and kisses me all over my face and says, You too cute to get sick. It's true. <laughs> yeah, it's true. She tickles me all over my belly and I go, Tee hee hee. <laughs> And the best part of the Goyles night is every time I get to hear the story of the Mickey Dolans. <laughs> About how when she ran afoul of him when she was a little Goyle and he was rude to her in an elevator. And then when she ran into him again as an adult, he was a flight. <laughs> to come up to my room <laughs> drink some wine. <laughs> I get to hear it every time. It's like the story of Christmas. When she was a little girl, Mickey Dolan said, Get out the elevator! And then when she was a woman, he said, Get in the elevator. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm looking forward to Goyle's night, even though the last one didn't go so good. What happened? Well, it was after the telling of the Dolans. When there was a knock at the door, and it was Baby LaGuardia. Oh, no. Now, for those of you who don't know, Baby LaGuardia steals money with the computer. <laughs> yeah, that shady bitch has cleaned me out a couple times. She cleared out my Vanguard and my Parnassus. Oh, my God. Anyway, LaGuardia strolls in like she owns the place, and her and Blondie immediately run into the corner and start whispering. I couldn't make out everything they said. I heard them say Winslow. And I heard them say big insurance policy. And I heard them say he'll never know what hit him. <laughs> and then they started giggling and rubbing their hands together. And I heard someone say cha-ching. Well, at that point, I piped up with my signature. This has been fun, but I gotta go, and I got the hell out of there. So anyway, Winslow, I yeah. hope you a light sleeper. Because them ladies got some plans for you. I'm really, like, worried now, Cookie. You ought to be. Cookie, I understand that you're still organizing FolksCon East. I wanted to know how things were going. I'm hitting a few snags. First of all, the four seasons total landscaping. They're having a f argument with the dirty bookstore next door. Four Seasons has opened a competing business called Four Seasons Total Sex Tools. <laughs> so there's a little bit of bad blood on the block. I'm just trying to smooth things over. Okay, well, that's good. That's very diplomatic of you. <laughs> yeah, my specialty is diplomacy. You're the negotiator. Yeah. Well, Cookie, can you talk to Blondie and uh, Baby LaGuardia and maybe, like, you know, try to get them, you know, to not kill me? Make it smooth. I'll talk to Blondie, but I ain't talking to LaGuardia. Because she takes uh, yeah. any information and uses it to her advantage. Tells. She looks at your tells. 
Yeah, it's like and poker. She can figure out pin numbers from that shit. I'm impressed she knows about Vanguard. She got in my Vanguard. Cookies V slot? Yeah, beef beef slot. <laughs> anyway, how you all doing? Ooh. I'm looking forward to Goyle's night. I'm gonna put on some lipstick. <laughs> well anyway, this has been fun, but I gotta go. I'll be right back next time. <laughs> See you later. Bye! I feel really shut out of girls' night. Maybe you're lucky, Tony. I'm lucky? Yeah. They were giggling about, you know, life insurance or something. In the corner, so... Listen, they're plotting your eventual death. I imagine that's what most girls' nights end up being. <laughs> Aaron said, wait. What? <laughs> She's drunk, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, she's had a lot of more shots than she's used to. She's out of control. Who are you showing it to? He's showing it to whoever he wants. Matt Sloan will show it to whoever he wants. Right now, Sheila is showing it to whoever she wants. You can join Sheila Live at SheilaLive.com. Hashtag. You Ooh. Aaron and the other, uh, Tony. <laughs> Close your eyes. I can't see shit, so it's cool. You all are just patches of color. Flat as a board. Clue. Stiff as a feather. <laughs> You're gonna show it to Tony. Okay. Hey, dum dum, put your. <laughs> what? What? What's up, asshole? She has a good point about you being a dum dum. What's up, <laughs> asshole? Whoa, 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 whoa. Woo! My drawing is ready. All right. Loogie! Oh! <laughs> All right, this is what I drew. Sheila, show me what you showed me. This is what I showed Sheila. <laughs> that is that is horrific. The clue was mouthwash. Oh my God. That's why he's holding a toothbrush. Yeah, the toothbrush part wasn't represented, I feel, in, in Sheila's word. Folks, we had a good time tonight. We learned that communication is one of the hardest things man can do. I've been drinking. Have you? Tonight we learned that Tony has been drinking. We learned that no matter how hard you try to tell people the truth, they only perceive it with their own shield of imagination. We hope you'll join us next time on Beer and Board Games. It's next Thursday. Different people, different games. Fuck it. Good night. A ding, 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 ding. <laughs> wow. I got dinged out. Tom Wurtenberger was involved in a horrible accident in a factory where uh, his scrotum was breached and both testicles just went whoop, see daisy, all over the factory floor. And so now Tom Wurtenberger is a sad man. <laughs> <laughs>